Charlie Parsons for the stomping ground powered by Wow Hydrate and available on his own. Hello, I, like, I feel like sometimes you lot take the piss because it's like, what do you really think I am? It's just our job. Well, you are like, you have said on many occasions you are a performing seal. I am, but then after a while, when I've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's like, what more can you say? What more do you want, you know? You are Eduardini O'Hearn. We always have something to ask you. Go on then. I want to ask you about the Olympics, actually. Okay. Is there a worry for future Team GB investment? I was looking at some of the financials, money being put into boxing compared to diving. Diving much more successful with, I think, a third of the funding. Oh, yeah, yeah. An actual journalistic yeah. question yeah. from That's myself. That's actually quite impressive for you. I think the answer <laughs> is, is that the GB boxing scheme um, has always been incredibly successful. I think Rob McCracken, Lee Pull and all the coaches up there have done an amazing job. Sometimes it doesn't work out. I think if you turn around and, you know, when, it, when you underperform and when, when you don't deliver, you always have to ask questions why. But the reality is you can't be successful for so many years and so many cycles and then all of a sudden have one bad one and go, oh, let's just give it up. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, I hope that the funding continues. I think the, G the facilities up at GB in Sheffield are some of the best I've ever seen in the sport. I think it's great for the sport of boxing, and hopefully it will continue. Just because you have one bad Olympics, you know, shouldn't eradicate all the hard work and great work that those people have done. Something that's gone viral, an Algerian boxer who's beat an Italian boxer. Now, there's been a lot of talk about it online. Now, she was born as a lady, but she failed a gender elig eligibility test by the IBA because she has XY chromosomes. Now, it's a bit of a sensitive topic. It's had a lot of people coming okay, out. So, look, I, I think rather than start just not, you know, not getting myself in trouble because I, I will always speak my mind. But you have to understand the facts. For me, and Gareth might be actually a good person to discuss this with, Gareth Davis. We're talking about um, the Olympics. Oh and, wow! Yeah, but I, it, it was my understanding that the Algerian fighter was what, born a woman. I didn't know that. She was born a woman. Yeah, right. So, but she's chroma chromosomatically, she's a man. So she's got she's got a, a, a hypogonadism or whatever it's called, where she has male char characteristics um, in her chromosomes. Heightened uh, Yeah, heightened testosterone. It's a really awkward situation. Yeah, because like my understanding, as I said yesterday, if you are born a man, you should not be competing against. Absolutely women, right. right. Now. That does put a difference. No, this is I mean, a grey yeah, area. Uh, yeah, yeah. This so, is a grey yeah. area, and it's one of those areas we've not s explored I don't think before. The public fully understand that. No, they didn't. I think, I think, I think people were very unfair on her. Yeah. It's a man fighting. You know, is it, no, exactly. He born a man. But, but the problem is that, that it's become a row between the IBA and the IOC yeah. here as well, because the, the IBA don't said she, they weren't allowing right. her. She t she failed their test. It wasn't a testosterone test, by the way. So there's a lot of grey area in this story, but I do think the the that it needs exploring mm. because there, there are people born. Remember Casta Semenya, yeah, yeah. the sprinter. It's a similar issue? situation, right, yeah. I think. That that some females have so many male characteristics that 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 there's a crossing of the line, if but you like. If I'm playing and this is a fight sport, is that not a run. Her fault? I mean, no, no, it's not her fault. I, I know. So what you should be, you know, it's a very I mean. unfortunate human condition. I'd put it that right. way, and maybe. But the fact she was withheld from the IBA World Championships, I think the IOC should have followed suit. Mm. No, this was an educated, uh, sensible conversation. Well, I was actually, I it was my question, oh, yeah. which made it educated okay. and sensible. Quickly, because there's people waiting. Um, no, I mean, obviously we've seen it in different sports and stuff like that. As her amateur record, though, she does only have five stoppages in something like 45 fights. So it's not like she's doing it to every opponent as such, if you get what I'm saying there. No, no, um, Amy Broadhurst beat her. Mm. The Irish yeah. girl beat her in the amateurs, by the way. Mm. And I think the Italian girl may have acted up a little bit, mm. but she said she'd never been hit as hard, and I think she had fear of her going yeah, into probably, it because yeah. of the news stories. But it's really unfortunate for the Algerian in this situa situation, and it is for the opponents. She goes on and wins a gold medal in this. It's oh, going to be yeah. an incredible story. I, don't, what, I mean, what would you do if you were putting, say, Katie Taylor in with a woman who had so much testosterone in her system, like this uh, physical condition, would you question it? I mean, it depends what side of the fence you're on, doesn't it? I, I stand by, obviously, women should not be competing against men. In this situation, if you're you know, working for that individual, the Algerian, or you're part of her team, or you know her personally, you may have a different opinion to say, well, you know, 
she would, it's not her, you know, why no, should, she grew up as a girl. Why should there, she grew up as a girl. But any physical advantage in, in a, you know. It's a very weird one because the Olympics is about who's faster, who's stronger, yeah. who's physically more able. It's a sex and gender thing here and we'll never get the full answer to it unless they're kind of biologically tested. And maybe they need to bring in biological tests when people are on that border and they have to say, sorry, you don't fit in this category. That's what I think. Okay. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it's a very tough one, but obviously any kind of physical advantage, you know, um, unusual physical advantage. Combat sports as well, but, yeah. when you're yeah, actually hurting sports. each oh, other. Listen, it, it, this instance in a sport that is not combative. If it was darts, which yeah, you lost yeah, to Terence yeah. Crawford in, yeah, okay. it, wouldn't, it, 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 it would be okay. But if, yeah. if it was someone who had extra testosterone and it was darts, it doesn't matter. All they're going to do is throw the dart faster or quicker. Mm, yeah. They're not going to make them more accurate. But when you're... When your object is to render someone unconscious, mm. it's different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Not quite in amateur boxing, but I mean, they're not trying to render them unconscious as much as the professional. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, it's, I think it's a strong, <laughs> strong statement. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Anyway. Trying to, to intimidate me? Again, I can't intimidate you with your your martial arts presence. <laughs> Should we show him the head? The luckily enough, my, the luckily head enough my security Should guard there would absolutely render you unconscious with a, with no, a flick I, of his I've finger. Known him years, I've known him years before your leg came off the ground, so Listen, I feel very no, comfortable in this situation. I've been in a terror. Oh, uh, stop it. it. Definitely him. Don't, no, don't even no, go there. No, he wouldn't. I've I mean, got, I mean with one... my security, I would definitely win. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I'd have to pay a lot of money to Thank hurt you. Thank you. That was a great debate. Thank you. Thank you.